Hi folks, on the workbench today, we've been waiting a year for this, I have the Vintage Classic Bristol Bloodhound from Airfix. So, announced last January when Airfix did their range announcement, they said they were going to be re-releasing this Bristol Bloodhound Surface to Air Missile as a Vintage Classic. Inside the box is all the bits that you need to build this staple of the English defense back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, even the 90s. I think it retired back in 1991. But yes, this was out there. And believe it or not, this was the only Land Rover that Airfix had in their range that was originally their tooling. It's great having this back on our workbench. I think I built it in the 90s and I'm looking forward to building it again. It's a 176 scale model and you get the you get the, the Bristol Bloodhound, you get the launcher, you get the transporter and you also get the Land Rover inside. So Side of the box, you've got some information about it here saying that it was forming a vital component of Britain's post-war integrated air defence protection during the Cold War era. It was intended to protect the integrity of the Britain's V-bomber nuclear deterrent force from hostile air attack. And it was uh, the system source service from 1958 until 1991. In the box, you get 96 pieces and the length of it is 180 millimeters by 92 millimeters. So, you know, 20 centimeters by um, 10 centimeters in size. It's a skill level two, which is obvious because it will need a little bit of prep work. You will have to do a bit of rubbing down. I'm, I'm presuming it's going to be a lot of flash on this. But yeah, it's skill level two, but you also get one flying hour. Other side of the box, you've got lingo there in different languages giving you your warnings. Uh, the code for this one is A02309V. And if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description box below and in the comments where you can buy this kit. Edge of the box, you have the uh, box art again, and the same on the other side. So then, but before I go unboxing this kit, I can ask a bit of a favour. If you've been watching me for a while and you'd like what I've been uh, filming and sharing, would you consider being a subscriber and click the subscribe button? And if you ring that bell, click all, you'll be notified when I release a new video. Also, let me know in the comments if this is a kit you've been looking forward to and if you're wanting to build it. And also just let me know if you had it on pre-order like I have. Right, let's have a look inside the box. Top opening box is per normal with Airfix and you get a bag of sprues and you get instructions. There are no decals in this, okay? So there's no worry any decals here. And uh, basically you get the instructions. As you know, these are made quite cheaply and they are quite cheap to buy as well. They're, they're, they're not, they're not, they haven't, re they haven't redesigned the instructions. You are basically doing it from like the 1990s instructions that they've had created. So look at the instructions there. You're basically push, putting the missile together, which is basically you've got uh, two body halves and then you're cementing them together and then you are cementing the wings into the forward location slots and then uh, also you are cementing the tail planes into the wheel slots as well that's basically it uh, between those two instructions there and uh, you're fitting the booster bracket as well I believe on here too on the Land Rover basically you're building the chassis up and then uh, putting all sides on in the front and the bumper and the rear end to it and the wheels and it also gives you a guide there of the colors that you need next up you are building the launcher quite simple really uh, you don't glue a lot of this because you can actually have it moving up and down it's quite clever actually there's uh, there's moving parts to that and then finally after you've done all that you are then building the transporter and same sort of colors needed on here as well and basically once you're all done you're finished um the uh six colors you need are 22 matte white 25 matte blue uh 30 matte dark green 33 matte black 61 matte flesh these are for the figures because you get four figures four figures with it one of them is a dog and you need the 69 gloss yellow and that's the instructions done Right, let's have a little look through the bag of sprues. So, you're getting five sprues on this one. 
on this kit. So there you go. So there's the missile there, as you can see. It's quite a simple little build. To be fair, there's not a lot of flash on this. It's like on this part anyway. Uh, once you um, glue it all together, it should go together quite nicely. It's got the locating pins, it's got the numbers on there. Uh, the figures look pretty good. They want a bit of a clean up. You know, to focus, hopefully. There you go, you've got some figures there as well. So two figures on that sprue, which looks pretty nice. On to the Land Rover. There you go. It's got like a, like a canvas effect on the back, which is quite nice. There's your, there's your, there's your chassis there. A uh, four wheels. A little bit of a cleanup required. I would give this a really good prime before you start putting paint down. And they got all the numbers are actually on. Looks like a lot of the numbers are on the parts itself, which I quite like. I like seeing the the numbers on parts like this. So yeah, there's the Land Rover bit. Remember, this was the only. Land Rover that Airfix released until uh, now, which they did a, a 143rd scale Land Rover in their starter set range. You know, people say, oh no, they've had a Land Rover before. No, they, the Land Rovers they had in this scale were JB models and they bought the tooling when the company went uh, bust. And so when you see a Land Rover, uh, they were JP models. So yeah, this is, you know, this is the only Land Rover they actually had in the series. The other ones, the 143rd, and the 148 were hellers believe it or not yeah hella tool in so yeah this was the uh the og when it comes to land rovers for fx quite surprising really i think these this this sprue here is the launcher i think that must be that the launcher there i'm presuming it is. is that the launcher just quickly check in or is that the launcher no sorry this is the launcher here on this sprue they're not named these sprues, right? They're not A, B, C, or D. The numbers go all the way up from 0 to 100 on this particular model. So there's no frame A uh, part 1 or frame B part 2. They're numbered um, individually right up to, I think it's 96. So yeah, there's the launcher there, I believe. And there's all bits and pieces there that you can uh, see. You've got some, oh, and you've got more figures there. So you've got, actually, you've got, one, two, three, four, five, six figures in this one. Wow. Wow. Shut the front door. <laughs> They've got OTT with the old figures on this one. So, yeah. Is there another kit with that many figures? Not like figure sets, but is there another kit with this amount of figures? <laughs> Interesting. So, there you go. There's the, uh, the sprues. And the sprues look all right, to be fair. There's a little bit of cleanup required, but not too much. Looking pretty good so far so i presume that they've actually cleaned up the tools a little bit you see a bit of scratch in there but that's just age and tear wear and tear um i think this is uh, more these are the wheels for the transporter bit for it there's some launch launcher parts there on the side but yeah yeah there you go there's uh, more for the transporter i presume you can uh, position it whichever way you like as again, like I said, very little flash. Clean up as you go. Perfect. So there you are. That was the Bristol Bloodhound unboxing and review. I'm going to be building it this week and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to do some little clips, but keep an eye out on the on my wall here on YouTube. I'll be posting regularly of the build as I'm doing it. I'll be doing a build video on it as well. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments whether you're going to be building it as well. Why don't you build it along with me? And that's it. Thanks all for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Click all to be notified when I release a new video. If you want to become a channel member like the folks on the screen now, please become one. And you can do that by clicking join below and select selecting which membership tier you so wish to join. Any questions, any comments, leave in the box below because I do reply. And if you're not seeing my latest video, click here. If you'd like to see my uh, unboxing videos, a whole playlist of them, click here.